Shalom, first foremost, I'm going to say, oh, and praise be unto you. Yeah, how about Shema Shai, by Shem Rokar Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Most Stone, and Shalom to the sincere document that teaching this truth. And uh, what this Sibel is going to be about is um, taking heed to yourself, observing. Your um, spirit, you know, and then, and then of, 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 you know, observing where your your app in, in, in this truth, and constantly trying to make sure you're well, not trying to constantly making sure you do what you have to do in this faith, lest that evil spirit of unbelief comes upon you and you fall out this truth. And see, I hope. You know, see more, 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 more. my personal hope is staying in the truth and enjoying on to the end. You know, and it's like that's why it's important to read the scriptures and study. Because when you read the um, scriptures and, and you study, the um, Lord puts the Spirit upon you to um, read something that is in that that the Lord wants you to read at that time. And through that, you can end up getting more understanding on a scripture. And even the young Lord might put a spirit upon you to do um, a video upon it so that others may hear too. You know? So, before I go into the, um, the scripture, Hebrews 3, I'm going to first read this. So, this is the word circumspect. We all, we all know what it means to 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 what to to, to um, look around, but let's see what the key words are in terms of of, of, of this word and explaining it. It says to be cautious, wary, literally looking about on on, on all sides. Right, it says deliberate, and if you skip down, it says to look around to take heed, and that's key because you, you, you can be um circumspect in different types of ways, you, you can be you know very circumspect when you're on about, you know. You can be such so I can expect, you know, when you're part of the camp, you're observing everyone else. But are you observing your own self? Are you observing your own spirit, seeing if you're on top of things? And, and it's like sometimes, you know, you actually might get get into stage in this truth where you where you actually observe yourself like, hey man, I need to do that. A lot more, because then you will have to give an honest account of yourselves. That, hey man, I need to pray for for more faith. Hey man, I need to I need to to do more. Or 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 hey hey, you know it's it's I'm I'm I've been praying more. I've been I've been doing more. Now now I need to pray to the Lord to keep me doing more. You know. To keep being on fire, because the, the the spirit gets on um the apostle to heart to, to constantly speak on a hey, being hot or cold, not being being lukewarm. Because if you're lukewarm, you, you get get screwed out. So you see, our faith is to our hope is to remain in this one, and part of that is what first and foremost being 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 the chosen of of the Lord and uh, observing. You yourself and making sure you gotta do what you have to do. So with that, I'm gonna read Hebrews 3. This is where the inspira inspiration came from when I studied. This is um uh Hebrews 3. Now at the stop of at the um you know start of he Hebrews 3, you know, Paul 
gives an account comparing how shy to, to Moses and also comparing you know us being in Egypt how those who, who didn't have faith didn't enter in, 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 in into the um, into the um, land you know in terms of you know JQ um, can't complain in the, in the wilderness man you know because they could they didn't have faith but you had their you know kids and also Caleb and Joshua who had faith who also entered into um, that, that um, land which during that time period was um, our rest but the real rest for the 12 tribes of Israel is being in our land being being in our power in the kingdom of heaven so although that was a, a, a form of rest going to, to our, our inheritance it, 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 it really wasn't our rest because our, our true rest is when the kingdom of how shy you know the, the, the prince of peace is established you know this is um Hebrews 3 and 12 take heed brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God now let's go into the word take heed some G991 right and it says um to discern of the bodily eye it says to discover by use to know by experience it says the metaphor to see with the mind's eye to have the power of understanding to discern mentally observe perceive discover understand now here is is is, is to the key point to turn the thoughts or direct the mind to a thing to consider to contemplate to look at to weigh carefully examine so it says to turn the thoughts or direct the mind to a thing to so one way that can be done is to turn your thoughts and observe your actual self are you doing what you have to do if you are doing what you have to do pray to the lord that you do more if you wait pray to the lord that you you, you do more and that you know you, you, you're, you're constantly praying for more faith because you need to understand we are in a world of unrighteousness and we have faith in righteousness and that alone should inspire you to push forever man because this world is full of on of, of 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 unrighteousness and you hope in righteousness so why 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 uh fall out pray to the lord to help you endure because if the lord wants you to fall out you will fall out if he wants you to stay in this you will stay in this that's why it's important to pray to the Lord to take heed to yourself because if you take heed unto yourself you know that the only way you can maintain staying in this faith is praying to the Lord that's why it's important to observe yourself are you doing are you doing are you following instructions are you doing your videos are you reading enough are you watching enough news are you reporting enough articles are you are you are you are you in the spirit are you fasting enough are you are you giving enough arms are you be are you being there are you, are you truly loving your neighbor as yourself these are questions you have to ask or else you know that 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 that, that um spirit of unbelief you know shall enter into you like Judas although it was it was prophecy that he had to play really it came to a point where he, he actually didn't believe in it and he was impatient but if he took heed unto himself and observed himself like no what I'm doing is wicked 
he wouldn't have, 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 have done it in the first place and the, the, the only time he actually did it was after his crime hence why after he, he hung himself but, but, but we all know that was prophecy but the point I'm trying to make is you have to take heed to yourself and, and, and I'm not saying this because I'm a South Grange teacher no I'm a baby in this faith but I was thinking about it when I read the scripture man. put the spotlight on yourself and things that you just discover under that, that spotlight if it's in wickedness pray to the Lord to take that, that demon away from you if it's, if, if it's the fact that you actually need more strength pray to the Lord to give you more strength it says, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power. But exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So it's important as well to exhort brothers. Hey, hey, brother, man, keep pushing. Hopefully, we will be we elect. Because your strongest is the weakest man. For we are made partakers of Hamashiach if we hold the, the, the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. So we we will be made partakers with the Lord, the, 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 the first fruits. Because after his 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 persecution and his endurance, what he, he was highly esteemed and glorified. If we be if we if we are made partakers of the truth, guess what? If we hold into the end, we we gonna be esteemed too. While well, it is said today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. That's right. This is is, is making making a reference to Egypt, because those who provoked, you know, the Lord that, that were complaining, ah oh, man, our kids can't do this, our kids can't do that. They died, man. For some, when they had heard, did provoke. How be it not all that came out? For some, when they had heard, did provoke. How be it not all that came out of Egypt by Moses? That's right, because you know, you know, you actually had a very good portion of Jake's 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 coffin. But as the scripture says, how be it not all that came. But if you go on, it says, but but. With whom was he grieved for forty years? Was it not with them that sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest? But to them that believed not. So back then, those who who didn't didn't you know believe didn't enter you know, into the rest, which which mean meaning you know coming out of Egypt. Going, going into the wilderness and then going into the land. Really, the, the, the only ones who, who, who of, of that generation that um, did was was Joshua and <laughs> Caleb and the children of those who died in the wilderness. And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but then that they believe not. So Paul was was using this as an example. So. We see that so we see that they could not enter into the rest because of unbelief now so, so, so what is our rest our rest is the kingdom man and how we will enter into that rest as first fruits is by by faith and belief this is chapter 4 let us therefore fear see fear is faith fear fear is belief lest that a promise being left us entering into his rest any of you do seem to come short of it so see, let us fear this word let's fear fear the lord man lest we come come short of the kingdom man for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them I, I ask you believe and unto those who don't believe but the word preached and not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it so those who don't believe this word didn't have any profit in it but we got hope that that we are profitable unto the lord and that we enjoy man for we which have believed do enter into the rest that's right we we that have believed right we will enter enter into that rest if we hold on to our faith 
as he said, I have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into my rest. Although the words finished were finished from the foundation of the world. You know. If you skip down, it says, uh, seeing therefore it remaineth some must enter to them, and they to whom was first preached entered not in being because of unbelief. But if you skip to Hebrews four and nine. No, four and four and eight. For for if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? This Jesus that is um speaking about is um Joshua, the the the, the son of Nun. For and it says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Right? For he that entered into his rest, he, he have also seed from, from his old works, as God did from his. You know, it says, Let us therefore labor to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So, see, see our trust has to be in this word. And, and by taking heed unto yourself, you know that, that you can pray to the Lord to, 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 to keep on the path of righteousness. And to and to stay with with this doctrine, because 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 the key to salvation is this: faith in the heavenly Father's name, which is Yahweh; faith in the Son's name, which is Yahweh Shai; and faith in His Word, because this Word is key. James one and twenty one. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted Word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and, and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass. You know? So, it's all about this word, man. This is Ephesians um, uh, This is uh, Ephesians 5. Right? I'll get this first. This is Ephesians, uh, get this first. Ephesians 5 and 15. You know, it says, Be the, uh, see that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but papa as wise. But part of being circumspect is observing to make sure you're on top of whatever that you have to do for the truth's sake. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. That also applies unto observing, you know, the times, the news, and, and stuff. Wherefore, be, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of, of the, 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 the Lord is. If you don't know, if you don't know, right? If, if you don't know what the will of the Lord is, and you've been in the truth for a bit, hey, you still got to pray to the Lord, man. Because it should be clear. You know, and if you do understand, you got to pray that the Lord don't take that understanding away from you. Because we're in a fight against spirits and demons, but if a person isn't taking heed to himself, he will just be walking up and down, and not realize that he, he needs prayer and he might fall out. That's why we gotta pray always, man. Ephesians six and twelve: For we wrestle not against flesh, flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world. Now, I'm, I'm gonna skip to eleven. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to. To stand against the wiles of the devil, that applies unto what? Satan's um trickery, man. Because you know, Satan might you know use a person you know like a, a, around you or, or use you use something that you you always in constant contact with, or whether it's, it's a job or a woman. To, to, to uh, uh, as a way to, to push out this truth, man. You know, but by putting the whole uh, uh, armor of God, which is which is this truth. You know, the, you have have you 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 have the um light to um see when these things are happening, man. Because it's gonna explain in verse twelve for rational not against flesh and blood, because our fight isn't a carnal one. Our fight is a spiritual one. Against principalities, spirits and demons, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. 
the, 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 the rulers of darkness of, 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 of this world is who? The elites, man. You know? The so called Illuminati. Again, spiritual wickedness in, in, in high places because in, 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 in their, you know, lodges and meetings and stuff, they're actually praying against us. They're putting, putting, they're putting curses on us. Man, they're putting curses on us to destroy us, man. And we've got to put them curses on them, man. But that's, that just shows that, you know, we're, we're in a fight, man. But if you ain't observing, you, you, you slip your mind that you're in a fight and then you're just out there, man. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arms, arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. But if you take unto you the whole arm of God, you will endure. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins, your mind, dealt about with truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to crack the fiery darts of, of, of the wicked. You know, that applies unto the unto un, unto who? The 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 the, the, the spiritual demon Satan and his car and his counterpart being Esau, man. Because Satan works through him, man. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching, watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all sense. You know. So with that I'm, I'm gonna end with this scripture, Ephesians two and eight. For by grace we are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is a gift of God. So, 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 so faith is, is a gift from the Lord, man. And the, the, the only way you you endure if, is if you was, you were blessed to endure. And that's why it's, it's important to pray, because 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 praying 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 to the Lord is key. This is uh actually. This is James five and ten. Take my brethren the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of the suffering and take take my brethren the prophets right who have spoken in the, in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering and affliction and patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard the patience of 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 of, 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 of Job. And I see the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender, send mercy. But above all things, brethren, um, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, it's a good scripture still. I might actually do a separate, a separate. Sit down, and that um. This is James chapter 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth to all men liberally and abraded not, and it shall be given him. That applies on to the, 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 the all men is all of you let. But let him ask in faith, not wavering. So I mean, we can't have doubt. For he that Waver is like a wave tossed in the sea, driven in the wind. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. The double man, the man is unstable in, the, in all of his, his ways. So, if that applies unto our asking for the Lord for our understanding, that also applies to asking him for faith, because for faith is that gift. So, by taking heed into yourself, you, you know what you need in your spirit. If you need, if you need more strength, more confidence, more belief, or just, just, just get, keep pushing strength to keep going because we, we we all have to pray for endurance man because we ain't at the end yet so take heed unto yourselves man and i'm not saying it just to say it to brothers oh i'm so great i'm so deep no i'm saying it because this is what is in my spirit and i'm saying it unto myself man i gotta take heed unto myself because i don't want to fall out and i don't want to see it. any brother out there who's fighting also on, on my side fighting and fighting for 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 for
and we've got to take heed unto ourselves through this word, through prayer, through fasting that we endure, man. Because, look, man, there's a rest, man. And that, and that rest, for us to enter into that rest, we have to suffer. We have to suffer to rest, man. You can't have rest now and rest later because it, it don't mean anything. You have to suffer to rest. So take heed to yourself. Shalom. Go down and say, all oh, praise be to Allah, Shalom. Shalom. Double hands and surpasses the elders and the great most of them. Shalom. To the sincere, the brave. Shalom. Shalom.